All right. Um, so here I'm going to be talking about uh, problem number three on the review sheet, which is a linear first order equation. So these are equations in the following form, where I've got dy dx plus some function of x times y equals some function of x. So in order to use the techniques we're going to use, the equation has to look like that. Uh, so really take care to make sure uh, that before you do this, you're, you're putting the equation in the correct form. So what we can do is multiply by this integrating factor rho of x here. And so remember, um, the reason this works is that if we look at the left-hand side of this equation multiplied by the integrating factor, it's actually just then the derivative of this smaller equation. So basically, we're just multiplying by this thing on both sides so that we can turn the left-hand side into something we know how to integrate. All right, so solving this, the first thing I notice um, is that it's not separable. So because I'm sort of summing up all of these things, if I were to try to separate this y prime, which maybe for better effect, I can replace this with a dy dx. Notice if I were to try and multiply dx, I'd have a y times dx and x times dx, x times dy. There'd just be no real way to separate the variables here. However, I've got a single y term, uh, one x term here, and this x term, which I could quickly divide by to put it in our form here. So if we divide by x, we transform this into the equation dy dx plus 3 over x times y is equal to 2x to the fourth. So now notice this is our p of x, this is our q of x, and this is in the correct form. All right, so all we're going to do is let rho of x equal e to the integral of 3 over x dx. So that's equal to e times 3 natural log of x. So this is just the integral of this equation. What I can now do is bring this 3 up into the um, power of x to make it ln x cubed. And then e and ln are inverses of each other. So rho of x is just equal to x cubed. And so then what I do is I multiply by my integrating factor to get x cubed dy dx plus 3x squared y is equal to 2x to the seventh. And so now this left-hand side might start to look a little more like the derivative of x cubed times y. Because notice here, this is just what we would get using the product rule to take the derivative of this. And so that, of course, is equal to 2x to the seventh. Um, again, make sure when you multiply by the integrating factor in order for this to be correct, you have to multiply both sides of the equation by the integrating factor. So you don't want to forget to also multiply this right-hand side. And now we just integrate. And so integrating this, well, the integral of this derivative is just x cubed y. 2x to the seventh, I would add 1 to the power here to get x to the eighth and divide by it. So that would give me 1 fourth x to the eighth plus c. And then I could solve for y to get an explicit solution of 1 fourth x to the fifth plus c over x cubed. And now I believe I almost forgot the initial condition. 
So if we solve for C using the initial condition of Y of two is equal to one, I got that C is equal to negative 56. And so this is just plugging in two for X here, um, one for Y here and, and solving. And so you should get as a final solution, one fourth X to the fifth minus 56 over X cubed. And so that would be a, an example of a linear first order equation.